DePaul University celebrating 125 years. Wow. What a milestone. Today has been officially declared DePaul Day in Chicago to commemorate this. Yeah, Mayor Lightfoot and the City Council passed a resolution earlier this month proclaiming today DePaul Day. And joining us now with more is DePaul University's Vice President and Director of Athletics, Dwayne Peavy. Good morning, Dwayne. How you guys doing? Good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you. You know, we're all, you were also on the 125th anniversary committee. You just joined the Blue Demons a couple of years ago, but how does it feel to have DePaul recognized by the city in this way over a century, 125 years to be exact? Well, it's really exciting, especially with the mayor and the city council honoring us with this day. Uh, what a great day to celebrate a typical uh, Chicago winter day. <laughs> um, and I think the biggest thing is that in 1898, 125 years ago, we were founded here in Lincoln Park and connected to the city of Chicago that day and throughout our future. And uh, the big attraction for our students is being in the city of Chicago. It's their classroom where they learn and grow and give back, not just to this university, but to the community. And we have over 125,000 alums in the city. And so we're forever connected and it's really exciting. So you get a snowy DePaul day in true <laughs> Chicago fashion. All right, so I love a celebration. What do you have planned to commemorate this? Well, it's a lot of things going on. If you get around the city today, make sure you look out in Chicago skyline. You'll see DePaul colors of red and blue everywhere, including Soldier Field. Uh, it was actually our Blue Demon Week, and we're celebrating uh, that all day. Today is actually our Blue Demon Challenge Day, where we're raising $7 million as our goal university-wide in a one-day giving. And so big basketball game this weekend to cap off the weekend at, against Marquette at Wintrust Arena at one o'clock. We might even have our, you know, we're getting close to capacity with uh, the amount of people that are coming to it. So it's a great celebration of everything that's going on with DePaul University, our connection to our city uh, and Lincoln Park community as well. All right, Dwayne, quickly tell us about the 125 Faces Project, the, highlighting the alumni who've made a significant impact on the university. Well, for one, being here just about a little less than two and a half years, having the opportunity to be on serve on that committee, to, to narrow it down to 125 faces of DePaul. And it's a great connection of people that are connected throughout the city, you know, not just at DePaul University that had, you know, some impact on DePaul University over 125 years. Current faculty, um, you know, obviously as director of athletics, some great athletic faces, Ray and Joey Meyer, um, Doug Bruno, our Hall of Fame women's mm -hmm. basketball coach, uh, you know, Ali Quigley, who plays for the Chicago Sky, you know, a bunch of different names athletically, you know, academically, citywide, educators. It was great to be a part of that. And I know we could have had many more, but 125 faces of DePaul, I hope they feel very honored. All right, Dwayne, I, I can tell you, growing up, DePaul owned the city. Bigger than the mm -hmm. Chicago Bills before Michael Jordan out here. That was a fact when they packed out Alumni Hall, had to move to Rosemont. Look forward to getting back when DePaul is the king of Chicago again. <laughs> All right, I'll get you guys back. Welcome to Wintrust Arena anytime, and we're on our way. There you go. Go Blue Demons.